You see, it is not just about looking at revenue mobilization measures. Important, yes. And, you know, we can all be agreeable to the fact that we have not done well in terms of revenue mobilization as a nation generally. But what is the point of the people performing their responsibilities to the state by paying their taxes when those who are in charge of the affairs of state are not applying those taxes judiciously? So, for example, when you decide at a time like this to keep staff at the presidency in excess of 1,500, what are they doing? Mm, I, I, I think the last figure was just in excess of 1,000. It's, it's not up to 1,000. Have you checked the report? The latest. The number of presidential staffers? No, I haven't checked the latest. Very well. Then check it. What, what are they doing? Why, for example, do you give away money towards the coming into being of a sky train without feasibility studies being done and no one being held accountable? $1.2 million. How do you justify so you're that? Saying, why, you're saying that why, you are usually wasteful in expenditure. Why are you keeping ministers and deputy ministers, some two, still keeping spokespersons at a time when you are saying that we should all adjust our belt? Why are you paying the director of a port that does not exist? I mean, if you look across, there are so many expenditures that ought not to be borne by the state at this time. So what we have been saying is that, yes, we can speak about all other forces, but why are we failing to see what is being done wrong by the current managers of our economy? And you see, what baffles me is their tendency to try and blame others but themselves. Everyone is a problem, but not Ken Oforiata, not Akufuado, not Alaji Mahmoudou Baumia. We Ghanaians are the problem. How can that be possible? So the judicious use of our resources clearly must be prioritized. The size of government must be cut down drastically. I mean, you've heard some of the proposals. Some are even proposing that we don't even need up to 20 ministers. Some are proposing that there is a need to, if you like, consolidate some ministries. Why do we still have railways standing alone, aviation standing alone? Why can't we bring all of them back to where he used to be? Because they all adapt to the expenditure. Exactly. Because the more appointees under Article 71 you have, the bigger the expenditure. And even if